My life was falling to pieces. Especially with Sophie's pet rabbit, Mr. Fluffy Muffin, watching me night and day. The more I look for stuff on Commander Vermont, the more I find out about this woman. But there's no clue to where she comes from. She's a total mystery. Despite our best efforts, Sabrina and I had failed to dish enough dirt to prevent the woman I love from marrying that creep, Josh Montana. Hey, geek boy. You know, me and Octavia always knew that you'd find someone after you got over your pathetic little crush on Octavia. Worse. <laughs> Today was the day I had to marry Psycho Sophie. Come out. Come out wherever you are. Unless I wanted to see what my whole family looked like on television. Wouldn't you like to go to sleep under the stars? It seemed the only people due to get true happiness out of all of this were Jet and Beanie. Jet, will you marry me? Mr. Fluffy Muffin. Mr. Fluffy Muffin. Open your mind to me. Let me in so I can watch Giles through your eyes. Now I can see everything. Yes, this wacky rabbit was keeping an eye on me, all right. Maybe Mr. Fluffy Muffin was more jealous of my true love for Octavia than Sophie. But somehow I had my doubts. <laughs> Viva, sweetheart! How lovely to hear from you. Listen, there seems to be a problem with the school funds. What sort of problem? Well, there are none. Oh, surprise, surprise. And you seem to think I care. <laughs> Carefree already. You are progressing well. I'm sure any minute now you'll be back to your happy old self. And you'll have forgotten all about, about that silly wee crush you had on Coach Shane. Please, tell me you love me. Make me a woman. Coach Shane. Tell him I missed him. What, the inflatable or the other one? Oh, don't worry, I'll tell them both. Listen, Vita, old pal. You sure you didn't have any special school reserve funds put aside for an emergency? <laughs> Vita. <laughs> Guess I'll have to find more sponsors for the wedding. Hi, Mom. <gasps> Josh, don't you know you're not supposed to see the bride on her wedding day? Then how? Oh, at the wedding, yes, but not before. Oh, right. Look, we've got to pick up some blood test results. Oh, how romantic. No, <laughs> son, this is the proudest day of my life. Think nothing of it, Dad. Octavia! Are you okay, sweetheart? Would you like a Mortimer and Pasco's instantaneous liver livener, enhanced with three vital vitamins and natural yeast grits? No, thank you, Mama. I'll be fine. Not to worry. I've seen this face a million times on the faces of a million different girls. The look of stunned happiness. Right, babe? Right. Okay. Let's go. My little girl. Will he look after her? Will she be happy? Will I ever see her again? It's such a sad story. All those people, their lives taken as this magnificent city just slid into the ocean. Yes, yes, indeed, and... Uh... It's sort of symbolic of the way that present-day society is headed. Typifying the decline that the human race is in, a warning to us of how vulnerable we are to forces threatening to engulf us. I, I must say it's wonderful, Antonio, that you have connected... Blasting a warning to the world to say that if we don't change our ways, that this too could happen to us. 
I suppose everybody's getting ready for the weddings now, aren't they? Uh, it seems so. Which one are you going to? Octavia's. Me too. I'm making the cake. Cake? Oh, wedding cake. Yes, an earthly, uh, I mean, a marriage custom. <laughs> Haven't you left it a little bit late? As a sculpturist, I tend to work spontaneously. I'll have it done in no time. I just thought I'd drop these off. Uh, it's good, good. I really think I'm going to crack this one, Mr. Darcy. Yes. Hey, Sabrina, wait up! What am I, flypaper for freaks? Sabrina, you're my last hobby. I mean... Hey, what do, you, what do you mean, freaks? I thought we were working together on this. That was before all hope was lost. You mean you, mean you haven't found anything that would prevent Josh from marrying Octavia? Have you? Well, no, but that's why I asked you first. Okay, I'll tell you. Nothing. Not even when you were searching the internet by yourself? Josh Montana is mine. Josh Montana is mine. Josh Mon... <gasps> Not even then. Oh, that's good, because everything's lost now. Bummery! So, why have we got to have a blood test before we get married? Ah, uh, it's the law here. Can't get married till you get the all clear. Marigold Jet? Yo! 98% slurred. <sighs> Is that good? Good? Man, that is an achievement. It also means you can't get married. What? We've got to get married. We're in love. Well, what's pure anyway? I mean, one person's sludge could be the next person's rhesus negative. Negative. Right. <gasps> my apologies. What about my sample? Get out of here. <laughs> so, when are you going to tell me where we're getting married? Fight and spoil the surprise? Montana? Oklahoma? I'm guessing my blood sample's a little blue. As in... Royalty. Royalty. Eh? Grey. Contaminated. More contaminated than that. We clean the drains with it. You do want to get married. Ah, uh, Jet, this is gonna be the happiest day of our lives. You sure I made the right choice in there? I mean, I could've gone with a discarded mattress look. Used refuge sack sounds great. <sighs> the woman's an artist. I mean, the things she can do with a piece of old carpet and a length of plastic tubing. Can we get my outfit now? <sighs> sure, rest you there. I win, and you tell me why we're getting married, okay? Okay, but you're not gonna win. Just one hour to go and you'll be Mrs. Josh Montana. I'm so excited. I'm gonna have to take another Nervino anti-stimulant and emotion suppressor and that's on top of a gel flux dial calm with a hint of strawberry. Mother, you do realize that if I marry Josh and become a housewife, all your investment in my education will have been wasted. Nonsense, dear. When the little ones come along, you'll be able to teach them all you know about welding, astrophysics, brain surgery, paint effects, cave discovery, wreck retrieval, baking, pile What's driving. that, Daddy? A dress, Pumpkin. A prom dress. And I want you to wear it for your... Your wedding. Why? Well, because it's special, sweetheart. I found it amongst my military uniforms. 
And that makes it special? Well, no, b but whenever I look at it, I, I hear motorbikes. Mother, was this yours? No, this is mine. No, no motorbikes. No, not a damn thing. Then whose was it? Unless... Daddy, you didn't have a secret lover at the prom, did you? Secret? How would I know if it was secret? Criminal detection, skin diving, microbiology, sumo wrestling and woodwork, won't you? Well, Giles, I gotta admit, there was a time when I thought you wouldn't amount to anything, just like your father. And? And? And you've made it. Well, look at you, a puny, dumb brain, no hoper, and you've got yourself the sweetest little girl this side of heaven to marry. You think so? Well, she got Grandpa out of the TV set, didn't she? That was really sweet. Okay, Mum, that was blackmail. <laughs> well, it was sweet blackmail. Dennis, the kitchen's on fire. <gasps> now listen to me, kiddo. I just want you to know she doesn't fool me. Being inside a TV set gives a body time to think, and I thunk. You want help getting out of this? You just holler. So what do you suggest? Well, if you ask me, the answer lies in wool. Well, in that case, why don't you, like, knit me a whole new life? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Antonia, honey, the cake will be ready. A Antonia? <sighs> it's finished. It grew from my inner being. Flowed from me, became. I didn't have to build it, it built itself. I was merely its tool. But did you put in enough Martha Martin's inorganically grown raisins? Gee, a lost city of Atlantis cake. <laughs> cool. Thanks. Do you do any other mythological confectionaries? Valley of the Incas? The, the last tombs of the pharaohs? No. Just thought I'd ask. Yeah. Oh, it's the party cake I sent to Aunt May out west. Beautiful cake. Someone has to eat the last slice. Count me out. Whenever I eat cake, my uniform shrinks two sizes. I'll send it to Aunt May out west. Return to Sander. Mustn't be anyone living there. No wonder the house was empty when I went to visit last week. Oh, Kissinger, no, you naughty boy, no, you'll spoil your dinner. Where are we now? My tail's eyes, we're back where we started. There's a female that puts into this container. And that quadruped looks familiar. Ooh. I recognize that one too, but... Broken tooth and lagpole. Do you see what I see? Our journey has come to an end. We're going home. Yeah! We're going home. A proud moment. A, a proud, proud. Here? We're getting married. Here? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Why not? Who's marrying us? Don. Don. Perfect. One small step for man. One giant leap for, uh, for you know, those uh, furry panda things.
and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to the wedding of Sophie and Giles, sponsored chiefly by Gaspigon, the delicate answer to involuntary flatulence. A demonstration will take place immediately after the buffet. This next part of the ceremony is sponsored by Brooker's Phlegm Capsules. Okay, so now, by the power invested in me, President of the National Chip Packet Collectors Association, it's my pleasure and honor to join you in matrimony. Do you, Sophie May, take Giles Gordon to be your lawful wedded husband? I sure do. <laughs> And do you, Giles Gordon, take Sophie May to be your awful, I mean, lawful wedded wife? Welcome to the family. I know you'll make Octavia very happy. Giles! Giles. Now I know what it's like to walk the plank over shark-infested waters. If I need, then I will drive your family to the edge of the They all wanted me to dive and wear in tuna-flavored sunscreen. The sponsors are waiting. My life as a free individual was about to expire. I was signing my death warrant, resigning myself to abject misery forever or even longer. And not one person in the room cared. Except... Giles. Look, I, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? Yeehaw! Giles? Giles? Giles! Jet and Beanie, having pledged themselves to one another in the presence of witnesses, in the presence of witnesses, and having exchanged vows and shown true intent, I now pronounce them man and... Wait! The blood test. We got the result. He ain't human. Way to go! Man, you just get better, don't you? You were about to say? Well, it says here, man and wife. Okay, alien and wife, who cares? Uh, I'm afraid this marriage cannot happen at all. What? I, Octavia, Bodicea, Amy Johnson, Joan of Arc, Vermont, Take Thee Josh, Custer Patton, Egg J. Hoover, Buffalo Longon, Eric. Grab the little solder, I'll dump him in the font of Montana to be my lawful wedded husband. Oh, my baby. Oh. 
God bless Sunset Cove. I took Octavia's place, see? So now I'm Mrs. Montana. Sabrina Montana's got quite a ring to it, don't you think? Yeah, cute. Anyway, so now Octavia's run off and so is Giles. I'd say they'd be together about now, wouldn't you? Lovely, lovely, lovely. <laughs> 